So 845 Squadron is, is, is integral to the, the successful operation of the UK uh, carrier strike group. Basically, if, you, if you've got someone flying a fast jet, an F-35, on their own, uh, if they were to eject in, in enemy territory, that they've got no one who can come and get them apart from us. So we'll be the force that go in, probably as a pair of aircraft, uh, into enemy territory with a ground extraction force at the moment provided by 4-2 Commando. And we look to retrieve any personnel who are in that unfortunate situation and get them back to the ship. And we're fairly unique in UK defence in that we have that specific customer base in, in terms of three commando brigade. And as part of that, we take part in amphibious assault, so ship to shore manoeuvre, uh, flying uh, Royal Marines and their equipment ashore in what we call the littoral environment, which is the part of the land that can be influenced from the sea. Cold places like Norway, hot the desert, you know, unique austere places like the jungle, and we, we'll fly wherever, wherever the Royal Marines go. We can also provide a deployed search and rescue capability, meaning anything from man overboard to uh, some sort of disaster incident at sea, we, we have a front and rear crew designed to uh, retrieve people and save lives at sea. Flying is so heavily regulated and su such stringent focuses on safety and checks and procedures, we, we can operate quite robotically sometimes, but particularly when you're flying off something like Queen Elizabeth, you know, over 900 feet long, 65,000 tonnes, it's, it's nice to step back every now and again and think this is actually pretty good what we're doing. And, you know, low level over the sea with a, a squad of all marines in the back for a, you know, to rescue a, a down pilot is, is pretty epic and while it's hard work, it's always good to try and for everyone in that crew to step back and think, yeah, it's actually pretty sweet what we're doing right now. So I think my favourite thing about Commando Merlin is, is basically its size, uh, 75 feet long, it's, it's a bit of a beast and people don't expect it to be as manoeuvrable as it is, so from pilot's perspective you, you, can, you can really throw it around and when we're down at 100 feet at low level, uh, even down to 10 feet for a concealed approach and departure, um, it, it'll go where other, other aircraft won't. It's big, it's loud, it's got three jet engines, it's got three of everything, fuel, hydraulic, um, it's, it's, it's a mega uh, battle ready aircraft, it's, it's armoured, it's, you know, it's designed to fly at ultra level and, and despite size you can you can throw it about quite a lot it's just an epic thing to fly